Hi, I'm Ruth from Ruth's Foods. You know what? Our coconut banana chia pudding was such a huge hit. We got such great comments. We thought we'd make another pudding. This time, chocolate, because everybody loves chocolate. And your kids will eat it, they'll love it, and they'll be getting lots of omega-3 because the base of our pudding is our beautiful chia goodness. All you need are some simple ingredients and a blender. It takes about five minutes to make. Let's go. I'm going to make enough for four pretty filling portions um, and the recipe of course is on our website. I'm going to start by putting into the blender six actual tablespoons of our beautiful raw goodness chia. going to use the lovely hemp milk from our friends at Living Harvest. I have the vanilla type, which I happen to really like a lot. Uh, you can also use almond milk, rice milk, dairy milk, whatever you like. I'm going to put in two cups. chia as soon as it starts to get wet it makes everything really thick we're relying on that but not only that we're going to use almond butter mmm I love almond butter peanut butter works really well in this recipe too and of course it's not quite as pricey as almond butter use whatever you like I'm going to put in four tablespoons of almond butter It's going to make it so thick and delicious. Of course, that'll add protein and good fats. And on to the star of the chocolate pudding, the chocolate. Um, we are in Canada, so we're using a Canadian brand called Coco Camino, which is entirely organic and fair trade. And also, they're really nice people. Um, this is their drinking chocolate, so it's vegan, but it already combines chocolate and sugar. It is organic sugar. If you don't want to do that, you can take just organic cocoa and put in the sweetener of your choice in, you know, the way you like it. Usually a little bit more cocoa than sugar. Um, you'll see how that works out. Okay. okay, so here we go. I'm going to put in six nice big scoops. Um, and of course this is already combined, so if you were putting in a sweetener all your own, you may prefer to, um, you would have to use, you know, four and two or with the sweetener of your choice. Okay, next I'm going to put in a half a teaspoon of vanilla and a little pinch of our Celtic sea salt. Yes, I do love putting Celtic sea salt in everything because it's really mineral rich, makes everything taste delicious. You do need some sodium in your diet. Not too much, but when you're getting it, why not get the best quality? That's why we like the Celtic sea salt. That's all. Those are all the ingredients. They are on our website. Now we're just going to whir it up for a couple of minutes. I can see some of the chia stuck at the bottom. If any of the chia gets stuck at the bottom, obviously just use a spoon or a spatula and then keep going. It looks nice and thick already and it's going to get even thicker because of the chia. So let's just um, put it into our bowls and uh, get ready to serve it. Okay, so it's it will continue to thicken, but just put it in. It's already thick and delicious. Uh, so I'm going to serve it up. Lots of omegas, antioxidants from chocolate, beautiful hemp milk, vegan chocolate chia pudding. So delicious. I also have the Coco Camino organic chocolate chips. Oh, there we go. Some nice fair trade chocolate chips on top. I think this is the perfect Easter thing or for any time. 
little strawberry. There we go. Enjoy chocolate chia pudding.